In this video, we will discuss about the Ctrl D error in Linux. I have already uploaded a video in my channel, and in that video, I have shown you what is the Ctrl D error and how to fix the Ctrl D error to uh, make the server off and running. So, in that video, I used to receive comments from the viewers in the Ctrl D error screen what to do, and whenever writing commands, it is not working. And in this video, I will try to clear all the um, doubts about the Ctrl D error. So, before starting this video, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share, and comment. Now, what we will do? We will check the etc fstab configuration. Please remember this configuration file contains all the mount points. Here you can see I have commented the mount point for the logical volume, uh, volume 1 because this logical volume is corrupted in the server. What we will do? We will Comment out, we will uh, uncomment this line and save the configuration file to recreate the control D error because control D error is dedicated to the hard disk related errors. Whenever there is a uh, configuration error or there is an error in hard disk, the server will not restart and it will go to the control D error whenever you will reboot the server. Now, what we, we did, we commented, uh, we uncommented the uh, uh, Parameter in the first step for the volume group that volume is group is already corrupted. So now what we'll do? We'll reboot the server to recreate the issue. Now here you can see some errors are there. You can see server started with a control D error. Here, please uh, try to read give root password for maintenance or press control D to continue. Uh, it is clear it is written here that give the root password to maintenance because here we have to give the root password to login to the server and fix the issue. And if you will press the control D, server will restart again and this prompt will come again. Uh, let us try this one. Press the control D. You can see it is not working. It is again going to the same screen. Here, try to give the root password. I used to receive comments from the viewers what to do in the control D screen because all commands are not working. Because it will not work, it is only take the root password here. Give the root password. Here, you can see a hash prompt is uh, showing here. Here, what we have to do? We have to edit the FH tab because we know that the uh, mount point logical volume volume one is corrupted in my server. So, what we will do? We will comment the line and save the configuration. Now, use the mount happen a command to validate the FH tab. You can see there is no error now. Use the df happen h also. You can see all volume groups are uh, logical volumes are uh, mounted. Now restart the server again to check if the server is going to the control D error or server is booting normally. Some errors are uh, there uh, because that logical volume is corrupted, but the server will start normally. You can see server started normally because we have commented the line in FH tab. You can see if we use the mount hyphen A, there is no error. Now check the DF hyphen H, all mount points are flowing. So this is the way to fix the control D error in Linux. Please remember in the control D error. We have to give the root password to log in the server in maintenance mode. And the control D error is related to hard disk. Whenever there is an error in hard disk, the server will not restart. It will go to the control D error screen. And that screen, we have to give the root password. And it will allow to uh, edit the um, uh, FH tab configuration or we have to fix the hard disk related issues. So friends, thanks for watching this video. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like, share and comment.